Yo gang, Stevie P back for another Steve's selfie strength tip that isn't actually a strength tip whatsoever. Um, today I actually want to talk about reality shows. Remember back in the old days when reality shows were good? Let's go back to those old days. Ah uh, yes, the real world when it was just regular people and not a bunch of fucking horny models and actors. Ah uh, yes, American Chopper when Senior and Junior got along and they used to make beautiful motorcycles together. And uh... Oh, American Idol and things like that, and they were all good shows. And uh, and then all of a sudden, we got Honey Boo Boo. Who's watching that? This this fucking little fat little turd. It's ridiculous. And then we got shows like people making cupcakes. People making cupcakes, really? That's a show. Like someone at home was going, oh my! They look at the guide on the TV. And go, honey, they're gonna make cupcakes on TV. Harry, get in here. Make pop. We're going to watch this shit. They're going to be making fucking cupcakes. It's going to be unbelievable. No, how, what are the ratings on that? How can they possibly get anybody to watch a show of guys just making cupcakes? It's the same cupcakes you see in every store you go to. Um, you know, you got fake towing shows where they're fake fighting and all that stuff. And then you got um, the shows about freaks, which aren't that bad. You get a big fat woman, two-legged, you know, two-legged cow. Then you got uh, some Siamese twins, chicks running around. And then you got some midget shows. Remember mm -hmm. little midgets with a pumpkin patch out in Oregon? Little midget family. They had a tall kid, a midget kid, and the little midget family. And then um, the little chocolatiers, which I thought was interesting because when I first saw commercials for this, I assumed it was going to be midgets making this tiny little midget candy, like intricate little, like like microscopic sized candy that only they can make. And that was like their big, their, their niche is they made like tiny little candy for other midgets. And then it turns out you watch it. It's just making regular sized candy for regular sized people. And I thought, why well, don't I watch this? Except they're just like standing on stools and they're making it and shit. But that's not that interesting to me. I thought they're going to be doing something special, like you know, the size of a grain of rice, and it's actually like a big little Hershey's bar or something. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. And um, but what I need you to do is make an appeal. If you anybody out there watching this knows anybody that produces reality shows or works on a reality show, tell them you want to see Stevie P on a reality show. You want to see Iron Sport Jim. Because funny shit happens here every single day. And I don't have to have production value like I do now. Here's, here's the way this setup goes. When you watch me on this setup, this is what it looks like. This is my desk right here. And then there's a box on the desk. And then another little box here, which I think is, um, is a bunch of deposit slips. And then there's my shoe that I lean the camera against. And this is the shoe, the stinky shoe I work out on every day. And that's, that's how I do things. So if you want to see me with some real production value on a real show doing even funnier shit. I mean, you'll see real you'll see real people fighting in here. You'll see me shooting my gun off. You'll see you'll see the other day I found a used condom behind the counter. The counter where I work every day. One minute there wasn't a used condom there, the next minute there's a used condom there on the floor. Where did it come from? No one knew. All I know is I had to pick up a, a load filled used condom on the floor of where I work every day. It wasn't mine. Everybody knows Stevie P goes raw dog, so I know it wasn't mine. It wasn't any of the girls that worked for me either, because um them sluts all claim to be uh, virgins. We all know that ain't true. But um, that kind of stuff happens here all the time. So if you want to see Stevie P on TV and be able to buy Iron Sport merchandise everywhere you go, please make an appeal. Make a phone call. Write an email if you know anybody. And remember, it's ironsport.com. Steve at ironsport.com if you want to email me. Send me an email. Let me know where I got to go to try out. Whatever it is I got to do, and I'm there. All right. There's only one thing else I got to say. You know what that is. Once again, you're welcome.